please note that not every prophetic message that I share on this channel is meant for everybody. So it's important that you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and take it back to him and ask him to give you the confirmation that you need before you run with the message. And for some of you, I know that this is going to be a confirming message because the Lord has already been speaking to you about this. And if that's the case and you have any questions, please make sure to take all those questions back to him because he will have the answers for you. In this dream, I was with a group of people and it's like we just kind of casually just walked over to a deck, which was like on the um, on a beach. And we sat on a higher part on the deck and there were also people sitting on the lower part of the deck. And as we were sitting there, I noticed a wave coming, a large wave, and it came and it was worrying me a bit. But um, when it did eventually reach us, you know, the people at the bottom were kind of like crouching down, you know, waiting for the impact. So when it did reach us, it only touched our feet. So it wasn't too bad. And then another wave was coming, a really large one as well. But I knew that this one would do more than just touch our feet. And I knew that we had to get going. We had to get up out of there and not be hit by this wave. And that was the dream. Like I just remember us just getting up and getting ready to go. And that was the dream. So today's message really has to do with um, the state of the body of Christ and just our focus i know that i started on this topic kind of like in the last video but there is more that the lord wants to share with us i know it's not one of the you know um, exciting messages about the stuff that we like to hear but this is so important this is the thing that's going to um save us in a sense you know i know that jesus came to uh die on the cross for us he came to save us from um sin he came to save us from the hand of the devil and this is a continuation of his work and he's warning us now he's saying you know we need to be very cognizant so the waves represent a movement of the world right two movements of the world and i've had a number of dreams where i've seen two waves uh, consistently right over the years and so the Lord was explaining to me what the two waves are and the first wave represents things that have happened in the world um, that you know we know they go against God's word uh, immorality sexual immorality those kind of things and we as Christians as people of the word of God know according to the word of God that that goes against God's word really has to do with what was happening in Sodom and Gomorrah, right? So we've seen that come into our world, into the world system, it's, you know, entered um, our lives. We see it on TV shows, but it has kind of just like, um, it's been a threat that hasn't caused us to really move or, or feel like, okay, we really need to do something major, right? But it has been a threat in the sense that, um, you know, it's affected us and it's threatened our Christian values. You know, it goes against the values that the Lord teaches us in the Bible. But this second wave, and we can already see the second wave in play. It's already here. It's going to impact the Christian body or the body of Christ in a way that is much more um, damaging than this previous wave of sexual immorality this one is going to be um if we don't get up and do something we're going to get swept up in that wave in some way uh fashion or form it is designed to come against um you know good moral values that are taught in the bible and what the lord was showing me is that a lot of us have been relaxing you know just kind of we were on that beach just, you know, enjoying being on that deck and thinking, oh, well, you know, that first wave wasn't too bad. And there are those of us who are actually um, watchmen. According to the Bible, you know, there are people who would uh, sit at the gates of the city or at the top of the gates of the city and watch for, you know, an enemy that was coming and they would, you know, alert the people. So there is something 
that is coming it's been on its way we see it it's already here and this is the thing that a lot of the people of God or at least let me put it, put it this way the prophets of God need to be warning people about because it's not going to be the same as before where you know that doctrine um the previous doctrine just kind of you know merged in with us and everybody was kind of like you know if you stay out of my business I'll stay out of yours you know don't don't try and impose your stuff on me you know that kind of thing but now there's an imposition okay of sexual immorality they are imposing it they it's almost like the good moral values of society are being done away with to make space for this evil it's nothing but um just a a demonic doctrine from the pits of hell and the lord is speaking to his people now to say wake up you know the people that need to sound the alarm need to be sounding the alarm that's why i was saying in my previous video these messages are going to get more intense because we have to sound the alarm we have to um wake up as the people of god and stop thinking that this will blow over somebody else will do the fighting for us someone else will will uh go and have the debates on our behalf and hopefully they win you know and and all we're going to do is just sit back and hope or you know throw in a prayer here and there prayer is very powerful we should be praying that's definitely it but as we pray the lord is going to give us instruction on what to do we don't just end with prayer remember the bible talks about our good deeds shining a good deeds being like a light in this world i think it's in matthew chapter 6 or chapter 5 one of them but it talks about let your light so shine so that your good deeds can be seen by the uh people and um so it's not just about prayer it's not just about faith it's about yes we trust you god that you will help us and that you will see us through this and we will overcome but at the same time that we can't expect god to just do that for us while we sit and and just hide and and hope that it blows over like the previous agenda which kind of felt like it blew over but it really was just a a a like a precursor to what was coming and what is coming is is just horrific it's horrible the other day i came across an article about the un in talks about um decriminalizing um like uh what was it sorry i need to get this right they want to they in talks and let me not say they want to they in talks to decriminalize um sexual crimes so um yeah i'm just going to leave it at that look it up for yourself i was quite shocked to read that article and it really is um something that we can't just sit back and say oh we hope this blows over we hope they don't continue with their talks or whatever we as people of god have to be doing what we need to be doing what the bible tells us to be to to be doing to be fighting this in prayer in the spirit not to be fighting people not to be trying to cause quarrels and wars or anything like that but instead to fight in the spirit because that's where it starts first because once it's concluded in the spirit it's too late it's going to manifest in the natural and that is why we're seeing things happen now because they were already concluded in the spirit and now this is a wake up call for us to start praying to start uh doing the spiritual warfare as led by the lord and to do so fearlessly to do so absolutely fearlessly knowing that um we have the the full backing of the creator of everything the one who can just squash everything with just a uh, a blow you know just the blow of his breath like and it's all gone so you know um i think that sometimes we uh we can be so filled with fear thinking oh you know we're coming against principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this age no they're lower than worms they they have no power they really have no power the only power that they have is the power that we give them and fear gives them power so we cannot allow them to rule over us in that way um i hope this message is making sense so really the the crux of things here is that um you know as we prepare ourselves to come into these spiritual wars 
we need to be in right standing with God. We need to start taking stock of our lives, getting ourselves together because you cannot go in there um, with cracks and open doors. So we have to start from a place of confession and repentance. Repentance is key. That's why John the Baptist was constantly saying, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And when Jesus um, overcame uh, his trials in the desert after his 40 day fast and the Lord blessed him and said, this is my son with whom I'm well pleased after he went to his hometown and was told that, you know, um, he's a prophet without honor in his own hometown. He then started to preach the message that the kingdom of God is at hand and that people should repent. That was Jesus's message too. So this leads me to today's scripture, which is Matthew 3 verse 8 to 10 and it reads as follows so produce fruit that is consistent with repentance demonstrating new behavior that proves a change of heart and a conscious conscious decision to turn away from sin and do not presume to say to yourselves as a defense we have abraham for our father so our inheritance assures us of salvation for i say to you that from these stones god is able to raise up children descendants for abraham and already the axe of god's judgment is swinging toward the root of the trees therefore every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire friends hear the word of the Lord today. It is time to take stock of our lives and to be in line with where his mind is at. He's already swinging the ax to cut off the trees that have bad fruits and you do not want to be found as one of those trees. You want to be an oak of righteousness according to Isaiah um, 61. I think it is. I think it's verse 3. You want to be an oak of righteousness, someone that has been refined and purified in God's fire and ready to fight in his heavenly army um, on a spiritual level. You know, don't get caught up in the quarrels and the debates of, uh, you know, on this worldly scale. You need to be fighting in the right place, but of course, start <laughs> in a, start with repentance because you don't want to go in there with cracks the enemy will use them against you he is the accuser of the brethren as the word of god says and you want to go in there spotless and blameless because jesus has cleansed you in his blood and you have repented which means that you are spotless and blameless like jesus himself the word of god tells us to be perfect just like our father in heaven is perfect it is time Okay, so that is the word for today. I pray that it's blessed everybody. Please do share this one as well. Um, as you know, I, I don't normally, you know, say share because I know that every prophetic word is specific to whoever it's meant for, but this one is for the entire body of Christ. So share it, please. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friends, are so deeply special to him.